Hey there everyone, Vaish here and welcome to the MongoDB series. Let's move forward and uh, let's explore more stuff about whatever the database we have created so far. So we have got two documents inside our database. One is simply the user, uh, we called it person. Yep, we called it person. And then we have got one video. So two documents interacting with each other using this creator and the object ID. Okay. But now the big question in front of us is I want to just access uh, somehow this uh, video in this particular one. So how I can do that? Now definitely there are variety of ways how we can do that. But notice very closely here that we are using an object. So what it returns us as a back is a big gigantic object. And if you have studied any time my free JavaScript course, you know how to access these objects. So let's give it a try. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, db.videos.find1. If you notice here that in the find1, uh, we are having an object a key value pair, kind of a key value pair. The name is creator. So what happens if I just write a dot and creator? So what happens is we get an object ID. That's pretty cool. We are able to just nitpick the data, whatever we want. Now, since uh, the MongoDB is heavily JavaScript oriented, uh, we can actually use some of the trickeries of the JavaScript. We can declare some variables on the go on this shell itself. So we can just call it as var, uh, let's call it as uh, uh, video UID, video user ID, that's short for that. And we can just use this entire thing, db.videos.find1. And definitely inside the find one, I want to put my uh, my rules that I want to just find the user based on that. Right now we just have one, but we have already discussed that too much. That's why I'm skipping this one. So there we go. We have got creator. And now this video UID is holding up this object ID of that particular user. Okay, that's not all the case. Now, what did we call this person? Uh, yeah, we called it as person. So what happens when I call uh, db dot uh, person or persons? Let me just watch uh, persons. Okay, db dot persons, and uh, we want to find one. Okay, so in this find one, obviously right now I'm going to do that. We just have one user, but let's just say, assume that we have many more users in that. So inside this find one, we want to put a parameter based on which we can actually find it. And it's pretty easy. We can find it based on the user's ID. So here's a quick trick how we can do that. Just open up the pair of parentheses. Always call it as underscore ID, not ID because it's generated by MongoDB. That's why we are calling it as underscore ID. And then in that, we have got this uh, video UID. Definitely a terrible name. And uh, there we go. And just close this that and there we go hit enter. So now we are able to reference this object ID of that user and definitely it gives me back this one. In case you want to give it a try just as a fun assignment just enter one more person here and just make sure you're finding the correct ID of that creator and then you got the whole point. It's pretty much how we connect with that. Okay so now let's assume a couple of scenarios. Let's just say on the home page you want to display all the videos. Pretty awesome you can just access that. But what is going to happen in the case when you want to display everything on the user's profile, let's just say uh, my profile name is, uh, let's just say youtube.com slash something. And on that something page, you want to display only the videos from the user. In that case, this is not a very ideal situation because you're firing up two queries. And instead on an ideal situation or some situation, you might want to just fire up one query. So let's just say the scenario doesn't exist where we want to display all the videos. The scenario only exists where we want to display all the videos from the from that person. So in that case, what I will be doing, I will be creating some document. Let's just call it as user. Remember, first we called it persons. Uh, that's totally different story with videos. Now users, uh, totally different document, different story. So we're going to go ahead and call this as uh, insert. Come on. Insert one. There we go. So what could be the case where we can have this? And uh, in fact, I want to delete all the users in case I do have. So I'm going to call this as delete many. And I hope I deleted that, but I'm not pretty sure. So that's why I just want to run it one more time. Okay, delete count zero. We didn't have anybody there. Okay, so let's move forward. Uh, db.users.insert1. There we go. Hit opening this and there we go. 
So what are the information that you want to typically enter in the case scenario where you have we want to fire just one query to display all the information about users, including the video set here. In that case, I would design it something like this. So I'm gonna go call it as my name, user is Hitesh, put a comma, and what more information you want to have probably is uh, verified and uh, we're gonna put a true because I am verified on YouTube and uh, video so there we go and video is definitely going to be an array there we go an array of probably an object or probably in a string so whatever is the case probably you want to enter some IDs or anything let's just say I want to enter our, I have a video on react native I do have a video on Android P and all that stuff so once I have this now I want to just close this there we go Okay, so if I fire up a query for this particular user here now, then definitely in just one query, I'm able to fetch all the information from the user. Name is verified, all the video list, and probably everything. So again, as you can see, there is no right or wrong. In the case where I want to display all the information about one user, this is a perfect case. If I want to display on the home page all the videos, and after that information, like, who is the person or creator of this video, then obviously this approach is much better. So the whole idea behind creating these examples was to make sure that you understand that whether you want to embed the document as like one-to-one -one approach embedded one or one-to-one -one approach with different IDs, both have equal use case scenarios and both are great. You should be aware of doing and handling both of them. Okay, so I hope you are enjoying this uh, MongoDB series because I'm enjoying it a lot. And in case you want me to continue this video series, uh, just let me know in the comment section, should I continue it? I will be reading each and every comment and after that, I'll start recording again in case enough demand comes up. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one, hopefully.